Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Wren 5 Light Pendant. So, this is the 136605, really great pendant. Throws a lot of great down light. This is the piece of glass from it. So, you get this unobstructed light coming down, so it's pretty good task lighting. It, people use it for dining room tables. They actually use it for kitchen islands as well because it provides quite a bit of light. So, let's get into the size to begin with. We're going to be talking about the fixture body. That's the bottom part. So, from the lowest piece of glass to where these telescoping rods begin above and not including the rod. So this is eight eight point four inches tall, forty inches wide, and the depth is five inches. So it's a good size fixture. Um, you could probably make this work on a sixty inch table, seventy two, eighty four, someplace in there. Over a kitchen island, like I said, is great as well. So why don't we jump into um, the overall height. If you guys are familiar with Hubbardson Forge, they have a patent on this telescoping rod idea. And what happens is there's a little friction sleeve hiding inside of what's this piece here, which is a, called a clutch. And there's a, um, a little hex nut right there. It's good. This fixture is going to come with a little parts bag and that'll have this little hex nut uh, wrench in it. And what happens is you tighten that up. And once you tighten up that little screw, what happens is you can't you can't make it go up and down so it won't telescope. During your installation you can telescope it to kind of get it up and down to where you want it to be and after that is when you trim your wires up above. So now we're going to be talking about the ranges and when we talk about ranges we're talking about what's called overall height and that's going to be from the very bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. So the short is 27.8 to 38.6, standard is 36.9 to 47.8, Long is 46.2 to 57. So if you need the shorter than the short, so you need to come down shorter than 27.8, we do customs every day, all day long. So if you need it longer than 57 inches, ditto, same deal. So the best thing to do, drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont, and tell me what you're looking for. So if you're looking for shorter than 27.8, and we know the fixture body is only 8.4, I can get this pretty high, you know, higher off your table or whatever. You just need to tell me what you're looking for. We send it through Hubbardton's um, custom department. It comes back um, as a custom quote. A little more time, a little more money, not returnable, but I, like I said, we do it every day. So those are going to be your adjustable ranges. Why don't we hop into lamping on this. Hubberton Forge says this is a, an, a uh, G9 halogen socket. You know, a lot of these sockets were developed long before LEDs came on the scene. It's really a, a G9 socket. And what that can accept, it's going to ship with 60 watt G9 halogen bulbs, which are actually fine. And they fit in beautifully, and they do the job, and they're dimmable, and they, have, they throw great light. However, time has progressed and technology has progressed. So now you've got all of these different LEDs out in the marketplace that can fit into this fixture. And some of these, like this is five years old. You know, this one is probably two years old. Uh, these, these are still the pad I, LEDs that have those little pads in them. They also call them cob, like corn cob, because it has that resembles a corn cob. This is a 75 watt equivalent, believe it or not. These guys are the phosphorus ones, these orange pieces inside that glow when electricity goes through. This is probably a 60 watt equivalent. This is probably a 45 watt equivalent. But it goes to show you there's tons of these LEDs out on the marketplace that you can use in this. So don't be afraid just because it says halogen. It doesn't mean that you're locked into doing a halogen bulb. However, I, I tend to think that, you know what, you're going to be getting these with the halogens to begin with. I would use these just to start off with until you kind of settle into one of these down the road after you've done your homework and you bought your bulbs and played around a bit. Like I said, it's going to come with them. They dim beautifully. Might as well use them to begin with. And then over time, you can do your research and you can buy the correct bulbs for your needs. Okay? So that kind of covers the lamping. This is going to be using uh, two of these stems going up to a 12 inch by 5 inch rectangular canopy on the ceiling. That's going to be going over one standard junction box. This is slope ceiling adaptable, it has a little knuckle right there, see how I'm bending that? And this is going to allow this to be slope ceiling adaptable in one direction only. So what happens is, like, the other stem would be here, uh, has, to, has to be... Uh, um, go on a slope ceiling this way 
One stem can't be longer than the other. If you want me to go over details, you can give a call, 802-446-2400. I can kind of walk you through that part. If you have a slope ceiling, if you have a flat ceiling, you're good to go either way, okay? So let's get into glass. You're gonna have a number of different glass options on this. This is the piece of glass that goes onto it. This is gonna be available in, in uh, three different opaque glasses, and there's also a clear glass that has a little white diffuser, glass diffuser on the inside. So we'll talk about that one first. So think of this as being clear, just like you know a clear bulb. And then inside of it is a little white, we call it opal, diffuser, a small one. Not, it's this, not this shape, but it, it is a small little tube that's going to sit inside of this. So um, you get the idea on that. After that, you get into the opaque fixture, uh, the opaque types of glass. This is actually the stone off a of showroom floor that I took this off. The, we have this on display. So this is your stone glass. This is your opal glass, which is, again, that white glass. Warms up a little bit, but it's going to be a crisp contemporary white when it's off. This is pearl. It's an off-white that warms up to a vanilla yogurt. It has a slight swirly pattern hiding inside of it. So you can see it's kind of a linen color when it's off. And, and then this one is the whiter one. And then you got our friend Stone. Stone is going to be that um, kind of... Uh, beige Vermont marble look has little striations hiding in inside and it ambers up quite a bit. So this is going to be the more rustic one. This is going to be the contemporary one and this is going to be the one kind of in the middle of it. And then after that you have that clear one with the uh, little opal diffuser inside. To me that's going to be a contemporary one as well. So those are going to be your options for glass on this. And it's a hand-blown glass so remember these little striations are going to be very random on this. Okay. So why don't we get into metal finishes. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, midway down on the left-hand side in those red tabs, there's a finishes help guide. Give it a click for me. You're going to see a picture of a video screen of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they look on different types of forging. It's really important to watch that video. There's a down below, scroll down a little bit, there's a color chart of nine different finishes. Those are the finishes this is available in. Um, there are pictures with the letter A on them, pictures with the letter B on them, and that's going to kind of show you this range you can expect to see depending on the finish and a lot of other variables all talked about in the video up above. So watch the video, go back down and kind of use that chart to go back and forth and you'll understand their finishes. When you're done with that, go back to that chart and click on any of those finishes with the A's and B's on them and you're going to see a bunch of pictures pop up and whatever you guys just clicked on. So it's another uh, bunch of more examples of what you're looking at. Okay, so we have this on the floor of our showroom. We have this on the floor in uh, bronze and the stone glass. <clears throat> Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have over 350 fixtures from Hubbardton Forge spread across two floors. There is a What's on Display page on our website. There's a button in those red tabs again, so give it a click and it'll show you what we have to show you here in Vermont at this huge showroom well before you guys ever venture in. In addition to that, we also have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. A lot of fun for you guys to check out when you visit. <clears throat> Some great bargains there. You have to come here to use that. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if you ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Some bigger things can't come back. We'll always tell you about that in advance. In addition, we have a, uh, we have a rush program. So rush takes you from Hubbardton's three to four weeks in production down to a little under two weeks. It's very inexpensive, so drop a quick email, and I can tell you about that too. And again, our email address is sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. And you can call us at 802-446-2400. Same hours as the showroom for the most part. The showroom's open from, uh, from 11 to 6 every day except Sunday. Phones are open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day except Sunday. And so if I missed anything, oh, give a call. I'm here to talk to you, and thanks for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.